Rob Fisher with Circle Track Magazine here at DeSoto Speedway in Bradenton, Florida. We're here testing with Dick Anderson Racing and our Ford Mustang Super Late model. We're going to perform three different tests today. The first one, we're going to be changing the upper link to a Burt pull bar. The second one, we're going to install new high compression rear shocks. And the third one, we're going to change from low cross weight to high cross weight in search of the fastest way around this third mile high bank little speedway on the west coast of Florida. So follow along as we get right down to it. Here we see the all-star pull bar installed in place of the solid third link on the super late model Mustang. This allows the rear end to rotate under acceleration. As the car accelerates, the rear end wants to rotate back and pulls the bar. With the spring rate at about 1,500 pounds per inch, this bar moves about one inch under full throttle. Here we see the 1,200 pound per inch rated bump spring installed on the right front shock of the Anderson Elite Goodsman chassis. Once the car gets up to speed, the bump spring acts like a bump rubber, but more efficiently absorbs the bumps in this rough, high bank track. Next, we will change to the Coleman Racing pull bar with a 1,000 pound per inch rated spring and 1,500 pound per inch front bump springs. Already, our lap times have been improved by two to three tenths of a second.